You question this one I placed in the White House for this time. You are offended by his speech and demeanor. I tell you, though his flesh often reacts and his ego feels threatened, it is my zeal that I have placed this one you have prayed for. It is my righteous anger at the demonic forces swirling within this nation that I have burned into his bones. Though he may believe them to be his natural enemies, it is I who speak to the spiritual enemies that continue to assail this nation and my people. Even when his flesh rules his mouth, it is I who rule his destiny. Do not question the potter as to the clay. He chooses to mold and shape. I have placed this one as David, for he is the man of war. Not a man to bring war or cause war, but a man who is not afraid to war against those who oppose me in the high places of darkness and deception. Okay, just sit down, please. But when you, when you report fake news, no. When you... Many do not yet perceive the demonic battles raging for control of this nation, and I need those who are not afraid to war for my cause. This one I have placed in office is not fully aware of how I use him, but it is because of the prayers of the saints that I use even his weaknesses and missteps to champion the causes of my kingdom and your salvation. Do not allow any offenses to blind your eyes to the realities of the unseen realm. Do not allow the distraction of his speech to turn your attention from what I am doing in higher places. You think I am a tame God. You think my meekness and humility are my only attributes. I tell you, in these days you shall see aspects of my character and my name that you have not yet seen. You are going to see the man of war that I am, for I have not yet come to bring peace, but to bring the sword with which to rightly divide the sheep from the goats, the truth from the counterfeit, and the religious from the pure heart. Before there can be peace among men, the demonic forces warring with the souls and deceiving the minds must be overthrown in silence. My zeal is being unleashed and I am not afraid to offend minds in order to expose the flesh. You must pray for this president. Do not idolize the man, for in doing so the ivory tower will surely fall. He is new to this kingdom and has much to learn. I will teach him as well as correct him. You must pray with eyes wide open in discernment, for this is not about a man. This is about my purpose being accomplished and whosoever will. He has made himself available and thus being steered by my hand. You must keep your eyes fixed on the goal of my kingdom being manifest and the realities of heaven coming to earth. I will use many in the days to come that will not seem qualified by man's standards. I will use many that will shock the world, many that have been hidden from the opposition in order to unseat age-old powers. Come up higher, I say come up to where I am, and the enemy is denied access. It is only from this place before my throne that you can be changed by my presence and permeated with my spirit. It is only through my spirit that you will rightly pray and rightly rule. Your prayers are being answered and I am working on your behalf. Use my eyes with which to see and all will become clear.